yesterday. Yesterday, our big story was remarks made by the Israeli filmmaker Nadav Lapid and the controversy that was generated in some sections around them. Some sections also lauded him for those remarks. Uh, Lapid had been critical of the film The Kashmir Files. Uh, and he'd made these remarks at the International Film Festival of India. He was actually the head of the international jury. He'd stood up in the audience and made these remarks in front of uh, important ministers like the INB minister Anurag Thakur and actors like Akshay Kumar. He'd said that Kashmir Files was propaganda and vulgar. He'd also said he was disturbed and shocked at the screening of the film. Now, Nadav Lapid has stood by those remarks. He had an interview with an Israeli news website in which it seems he said that someone did have to speak up. So that's a quick summary of exactly what's taken place. Let me just check if we have a colleague with us right now. My colleague Shilpa Ratnam is with us to bring us more details. Uh, Shilpa, Nadav Lapid standing by his remarks. Yesterday we watched as, you know, as we saw people split. Some were lauding him for coming out. Some was saying that this criticism wasn't warranted. We, in fact, saw a lot of diplomatic action also take place. You saw the Israeli ambassador distance himself and the nation of Israel from Lapid's remarks. Very quickly, Shilpa, walk us through exactly what Lapid told the Israeli news website, please. Well, yes, indeed. Uh, so, yeah, we, uh, there were many calls for uh, Lapid to apologize, but on the contrary, he has stood by his statement and explained that he uh, only a rough translation is available. Uh, he says it's crazy what's going on here, that it's a government festival and it's the biggest in India. It, and he's talked about the film saying that the Indian government has a push it. And he's said that uh, it justifies the Indian policy in Kashmir and that the film has fascist features. And he says that this uh, is a method that is employed in the film uh, such as there are claims that the movie captured all the dimensions uh, hidden by intellectuals and the media, and that it is always the same matter, that there is a foreign enemy and there are traitors from within. So he went on to talk about why exactly he was critical of the film, and then, uh, you know, he went on uh, to say that he was shocked by the transparent combination between propaganda and fascism and vulgarity. And uh, he also actually went on to say, I can't help but imagine an Israeli film like this in another year and a half or two. So taking on his mm. government as well in the mm. course of this uh, interview when he was... Uh, and he also addressed the fact that he was a guest. There were so many calls saying that when you have been invited as a guest to a country, it's fine to be critical, but to use this kind of harsh language... Uh, is not warranted. Some who even, uh, you know, weren't so harsh in the criticism did say that about it. He, and he also addressed that saying it's not in the UP position. You're a guest and the president of the jury here. You're treated very nicely. And that's true. He was invited uh, by Ify, uh to be the chairperson. And he said there was apprehension and discomfort. And he has said, I'm happy to be on my way to the airport now. So clearly making, uh, you know, making it obvious that uh, there have been uh, feelers being put out to him and that uh, he is cognizant of the kind of row it has passed. Okay, all right. Shilpa, I do want to request you to stay with us because I want to come back to you to ask you more. Filmmaker Ashok Pandit is with us right now. Sir, good morning. Thank you for joining us here on CNN News 18. So this is a controversy that's been playing out since yesterday. Today, as we're sharing with our audiences, Nadav Lapid, the filmmaker, who was the head of that jury, has now doubled down on his remarks. Uh, and he's, he's said that you know, he knew it wasn't an easy decision to even be making those remarks in the first place. Sir, what is your response to what he's had to say? I think um, the uh, ministry and the directorate of film festival first should own this uh, damage which has been done. Mm. I think it's their responsibility. Mm. And they have failed this country as far as selection of people in the jury is concerned. I very... Um, uh, I reiterate my stand first that uh, this is a mistake and we have asked for it. Secondly, I think uh, the way this man is behaving, he is uh, planted by uh, anti-India forces. And we could see, apart from him, there are a lot of other people, I just tweeted, in the festival who are regular India haters, Indians I'm talking about, who have been talking against the country, who have been talking against our, our uh, culture and you know, all those kind of things regularly. 
Uh, they are the people who have always said that India is intolerant. They were on the podiums of different events in the festival. Okay. So, uh, Mr. Pandit, could I just ask you one thing? Yesterday when he was making, not yesterday, when Nadav Lapid actually made his remarks, we played them out for our yeah. audiences too yesterday. And one of the things yeah. he said when he started his address to the audience was he said, yeah. I'm only making this remark because I believe India is a country and this space are both going to allow me to say that. So in fact, he said that India is a country that's going to be tolerant enough to allow me and this festival is going to be tolerant enough to allow me to voice my criticisms and my own thoughts. So to that, what do you have to no, say? First of all, no, first of all, first of all, we don't need anybody's certificate that India is tolerant or whatever India is all about. India is tolerant uh, and the most tolerant country as compared to uh, other countries in the world. So we don't need a certificate. What I'm trying to say is that the mischief which he has played, uh, he has demeaned, he has mocked a very big tragedy of this country where three and a half lakh Kashmiri pundits were displaced and they suffered the worst possible genocide. Uh, and that Kashmir files depicted that. So when this man is talking about Kashmir files as a, as, as a vulgar film, as a propaganda, it was an insult to those people who were victims of terrorism. Okay. So indirectly, and sir, can I ask you? Can I ask you another follow-up question here? Uh, when you take a look again, when you because I, I really I, the points that you made, I do want to double-click on them. Uh, if you'd actually take a look at his comments, do you think there is space? Because when one takes a look at the comments, he's not questioning whether or not the incident itself took place. He's questioning the way it was depicted in film. As a filmmaker yourself, do you think there is space to do that where one can not raise questions on the incident itself? He doesn't raise questions on the incident, but he does say the film didn't show it in the correct manner. Do you think there's space for one no, to do that? No, no, I, I, I don't think so. He didn't, he didn't discuss about the film technical, technicalities of the film. He said this film is vulgar. The film depicted the tragedy. You know, the Holocaust, Holocaust which, had, which was committed to, to Kashmiri pundits. The film had correctly depicted. What does he know what happened to Kashmiri pundits? Does he know? Does, was he there in the 90s in Kashmir? Has he, has he seen the phase which we have gone through? So I as a filmmaker and as a Kashmiri pundit myself, hmm. I say that whatever was shown in the film was not even 25% of what actually has happened to us. And every scene, every shot, every dialogue was to the T. It was reality. So this man should have discussed with the Kashmiri pundits first. He should have done some research. So it is not it is not simple. It is not a question of freedom of expression or his right as a filmmaker. It is something more than to insult India, to insult our security forces, okay. to insult our filmmakers, to 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 uh, in, in in the world uh, fora. So his 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 entire meaning and his entire intention was to defame India. Okay. Nothing else. Ashok Pandit, sir, and, and, thank and, you for and, joining us. Filmmaker. You've also come on our show before and, and, and said similar before, so I'd, I'd like to thank you. Very quickly, I want to go back to...